डीएनए रिवील्स ओरिजिन ऑफ फोर थाउजेंड ईयर ओल्ड ब्रॉन्स एज मम्मीज फाउंड इन टैरिम बेसिप रिसर्चर्स से द वेल प्रिजर्व ब्रॉन्स एज मम्मी फाउंड डिकेट्स गो इन द टैकला मैकन डेसर्ट इन चाइनाज फार वेस्ट वेर नॉट वेस्टर्न ट्रेवलर्स एज प्रीवियसली थॉट बट पार्ट ऑफ अ लोकल ग्रुप ऑफ एन एंशियन एशियंस In the 1990s, about 300 mummies date back to 2000 BC to 200 AD, found in tombs in the Tarim Basin in China's Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. The arid atmosphere of the region and the freezing winter have preserved their remains, especially the beauty Shia Ho, whose features, clothes, hair, and even eyelashes are especially striking. The name comes from the where the grave was found. The so-called western features of the mummies in the Tarim Basin, including red and light brown hair, as well as their unusual clothing and diet, have led many experts to believe they were migrants from the Black Sea region of southern Russia. This theory is supported by the fact that they were buried in coffins by boat in the middle of the barren desert. To get a more precise idea of their origins. An international team of researchers analyzed genomic data from 13 of the oldest known mummies from the period between 2100 and 1700 BC. They compared them to DNA samples from five people who lived further north in the Jangarian Basin about 5000 years ago, making them the oldest known human remains in the region. Scientists have discovered that the mummies in the Tarim Basin are not newcomers at all, but rather direct descendants of ancient Northern Eurasia (ANE), a group that largely disappeared at the end of the last ice age about 11,550 years ago. In the Holocene, our current geological era, only traces of ANE genetics survive. Native Americans and Siberians have the highest known proportion of about 40 percent. This Bronze Age community likely experienced extreme and persistent genetic abnormalities before settling in the Tarim Basin, said the statement from the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology, which sponsored the study. Archaeogeneticians have been searching for Holocene ANE populations. for a long time to better understand the genetic history of the Eurasian interior said senior author Chang Wan Jiang a biologist at Seoul National University we found one in the most unexpected place chang wan added people in the tarim basin are genetically isolated but culturally cosmopolitan cosmopolitan according to lead author Christina Wariner a Harvard anthropologist they appeared to openly adopted new ideas and technologies from their neighboring herders and farmers while developing unique culture elements that no other group had that no other group has said Wariner they wore woolen robes that were felted and woven using medicinal plants such as epidra from a central asia and even ate and even ate kefir cheese which comes from the north caucasus senior author inkwi chu a professor in the school of science in jilin university in shangcheng china said the discovery of the origin mummies in the tarim basin had a transformative effect on our understanding of the region inkwi said he hopes to analyze ancient human genomes from other eras to gain a deeper understanding of the history of the human migration in the Eurasian steppes the group's results were published in the journal nature in 2011 after touring north america for months china temporarily banned the display of mummies officials did not give a reason for stopping the exhibition but there is speculation that it may be related to the western appearance of the mummy and china's sensitivity to the importance of mummies in the history of the area thanks